So I recently saw Monkey Man and wow, it was really good. Nowadays, I feel like most action films similar to this and others like John Wick just kind of blend together. Nothing really makes them stand out from the rest. Like, who do you know genuinely has Fast X as one of their favorite action films? The answer should be no one, and if you do have a friend who thinks like that, then you need new friends. So once I heard that Dev Patel was going to direct an action thriller, I really didn't care. Especially since every article made it out to be either cancelled or dumped on streaming, so why bother? Then the trailer came out and I very quickly had my mind changed. Apparently Jordan Peele liked it so much that he single-handedly got it put in theaters, and after watching it, I gotta say, thank you so much Mr. Peele. This blew all my expectations out of the water, and let me get into why. Dev Patel plays an anonymous young man who tries to make a living by fighting in an underground fight club, wearing a gorilla mask. After years of suppressed rage and childhood traumas, he decided to get revenge on the people who took everything from him. It's your classic revenge tale, that part is nothing new. What is new is the premise. I really like how it sort of subverts the typical strongman action film by making the main character, who I'll call Kid since that's his name on Letterboxd, weak at first, instead of just an experienced invincible fighter from the start, which is a lot more compelling in my opinion. There's a lot of Indian culture and folklore connected to the story, and I think that's awesome too. It's nice seeing new culture represented in a genre like this. I also think the movie was trying to say something about India's government or politics. But I know nothing beyond basic surface level knowledge, so most of it went over my head. So I can't really say whether that part of the movie is good or not, and that you should probably find a more reliable source to analyze that side of the film. Besides that, the story is mostly stellar and is woven together with the action perfectly. It's no tearjerker or anything like that, but it's emotional enough to keep you invested in Kid's story and his quest for retribution. Speaking of which... Holy hell, the action goes so hard, oh my god! The choreography is excellent. You feel each punch, each head slam, each bite, like hell yeah! It's just as gory and ferocious as I wanted, and I freaking love it. Now let's get into my hot take. The cinematography. I've seen a lot of people have problems with the shaky cam during the first half of the movie, but I love it. I might be alone on this, but let me explain. The second half of the movie has the camera more focused and smooth. The reason is to symbolize how Kid is getting better at fighting. In the first half of the movie, Kid is not good at fighting whatsoever. Hell, he literally gets paid to be beaten up. But over the course of the film, he reaches his full potential, which is reflected in the camera movements. But I know a lot of people are going to hate it because, well, no one likes shaky cam. And I guess the fast cuts in the first half are a little irritating. I don't know what it is about men in suits on a killing revenge spree who just so happen to have a dog friend, well, had, but I just love these kind of movies. A few more things I want to add, this movie may not be a comedy, but there was a few moments that got me chuckling. The score is pretty good, until randomly during the final act someone switched into maximum overdrive and had what sounded like flippin' doom music made the final fight all the more badass. Also, stop complaining about people comparing this movie to John Wick. The movie literally had a reference to John Wick at one point. Come on, you can't tell me there are no parallels. Though I will give the movie some credit. It was able to create its own identity within a genre that could feel like the same thing a lot of the time. Dev Patel had a passion and luckily was able to make it reality. And I'm so glad he did. Before this, I only ever seen him in, like, Slumdog Millionaire, but now I kinda wanna check out more of his films. Overall, Monkey Man is an amazingly fun action revenge tale with enough emotion that might not mesh with everyone. Probably one of the best directorial debuts I've ever seen, though. And I'm excited to see what Dev Patel does next. As for my rating, I'm going to give Monkey Man 4.5 stars, with a number rating of 9 out of 10. I believe this movie would be better with critics than casual moviegoers because of the heavy topics and gory action. So in this case, my casual rating is going to be a 6 and my critic rating is going to be an 8. And would I recommend this movie to you on a scale of a hell no to hell yeah? I'm going to personally say hell yeah.
And that's all I have for today. If you like these smaller reviews, then you're in luck because I plan on doing this more frequently just to get more videos out. If you enjoyed the video, remember to follow my channel for more content, follow me on Letterboxd, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye bye.